Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. It all comes down to one match. The 2023-2024 UR season will all culminate at Loftus Festival this weekend as the Bulls welcome Glasgow Warriors in the URC Grand Final. What a clash we have uh, waiting for us. Two uh, teams who have never won it. So we've got a brand new champion in waiting. And um, that will be a crown in Pretoria. And some massive news for the Bulls. Whilst they have lost Billy LaRue for this weekend due to concussion, a huge boost for both the Bulls as well as the Springboks is the return of Kirkley Arlinson, who will start this weekend on the wing and will face the Glasgow Warriors, which obviously then in line puts him uh, in line to um, face Ireland for the Springboks in a few weeks' time. Before we look at the two teams for this weekend, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the home side, which is the Bulls. As expected, not too many changes. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And I think Jake White very much rewarding the players that put in an absolute masterclass last week. And uh, he's gone with a very similar side for this weekend. So if you look at it in the front row, it is Kerstina Kamp, Jan Krobler and Volko Lowe in an unchanged front row. Um, and what was so impressive, I think, about last weekend was this Bulls scrum, which took on an iron tight five and, and did really, really well. Volko Lowe in particular um, has been scrummaging incredibly well, um, made mincemeat, really, of Andrew Porter last week, and uh, he'll be looking to do the same. Another big uh, opportunity for him to prove himself for the Springboks next. He'll be up against uh, uh, Jimmy Ratty this weekend, so an opportunity for him to, to really... Uh, show just why he's been one of the, probably the best signing for the Bulls. In the second row, Ruin for Mark Wolf partner, his captain, Ruin Nokia. No Marcel can see her once again for this weekend. Um, has not been able to get fit, unfortunately. As a result, the back row will be um, Mark Mastan, who started last week um, as well. And then he'll be joined by Ulrich Lowe and Cameron Harnacombe. Um, So a good opportunity for Cameron Harnacombe to once again show his worth. Uh, he was phenomenal last weekend and uh, very much knocking the door down for a Springbok call-up in a few weeks' time with uh, Albert Lowe. Also, uh, very industrious last weekend. Also very much putting himself on that Springbok radar. The halfback pairing, which will be so important. I thought Ambrose Pierre struggled in the first half last year, last year, last week. But when he really came into his own in the second half, uh, he's been an important player for the Bulls. And then Johan Kursen, when I'm absolutely kicking masterclass from the veteran fly half last week. And uh, I think a lot of the Bulls' chances of winning um, tomorrow will rest on the shoulders of Johan Kursen and the game that he brings. Games are about small margins, about inches. You know, winning titles, winning trophies is about that moment. And a man who can create something out of nothing and can often spark those moments is Kirtley Orensa, who less than 12 months after winning the World Cup, will be looking to try and add a second trophy uh, to his cabinet as he comes in on the wing. A massive boost there for Jake White. The centre pairing is unchanged in Harold Forster and David Creel. Sergio Peterson, who scored the winner last weekend, not a player who gets a lot of opportunity, but uh, has definitely uh, taken it when he can. Um, he will partner um, Devin Williams to complete that sort of back three. Devin Williams coming in for Philly Rue in his first season for the Bulls. Starting in a final is the stuff of dreams, really, for a bit of a journeyman um, who's moved around the, the country and uh, has eventually sort of settled in the Pumas. Now got an opportunity at the Bulls. And it's been absolutely superb. Off the bench, the impact will come from the likes of Aka Van Merber, Sapira Tanzema, Francois Klopper, uh, Randall Ludwig, Nizan Kar covering the rest of the scrum there. Zach Berger, Chris Smith, and Cornel Smith are the replacement uh, backline players. Good to see Zach Berger in there. Cornel Smith as well. Somebody highly rated by Jake White, who hasn't had a lot of opportunity, will get his chance tomorrow. If we look at the Glasgow Warriors side, as mentioned, that front row, Jamie Batty, uh, Johnny Matthews, and Xander Ferguson. A good front row, a solid front row, backed up by the two Scottish locks in Richie Gray and Scott Cummings. So it's a solid tight five. Uh, and I thought that they really fronted up last week. And in particular, this loose chair, Matt Ferguson, Rory Dodge and Dax at Dempsey, who I thought were, were absolutely amazing last weekend. So much fun to watch. Rory Dodge everywhere at the breakdown. Jack Dempsey getting over the gain line, carrying a lot. Uh, George Horn, next to Tom Jordan. I firmly joined the John Jordan Hype Club last weekend. Um... I was very impressed with what I saw from him. He had three turnovers. He was tackling well. He was getting involved in rucks. Um, you know, maybe it wasn't the most iconic fly half performance, but he had he did the job he had to do. And I love seeing that kind of fight, that kind of grit, especially from a backline player whose job is not really uh, to get involved in those sort of facets of the game. Carl Stein, back in Gauteng, where he did grow up and before moving over to Scotland, he will captain the side in the number 11 jersey. Sebastian Cancellera 
Don't give him any space. The Argentinian wings got plenty of pace in the number 14 jersey. Josh Mackay, also a good counter-attacking threat at full back. In the centers, it will be Sione Tupolotto and Hugh Jones. So that Hugh Pilotto uh, combination will be uh, uh, in prime uh, force tomorrow. And I think that's going to be a big aspect of the game that uh, the likes of David Creel and Harold Forster are really going to have to be careful of. Um, in terms of not giving them too much space. Off the bench, it will be George Turner, Nathan McBeth, and Ollie Cable, Nathan McBeth. Uh, Pages from a lot of rugby in in uh, Gauteng for the Lions. will understand what the altitude means. He's also just recently had his call-up to Scotland. Uh, you then got Max Williamson, Ewan Freire, and Henko Fenter in the 6 of a 6-2 split. Jamie Doby and then Duncan Weir comes into the side. Those are the two teams. Let me know what you think is going to happen down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.